come together today to celebrate the Christmas story. In this service, we hear the good news of the birth of Christ, and we offer thanks to God in the singing of carols. May you be inspired by the message of Christmas and work together for peace everywhere. We remember all in need, the sick, the hungry, the cold, the anxious, the lonely, the bereaved, those suffering in conflicts, and pray that the peace and light of the Christmas message may bring hope to all. In the year 415, over 1600 years ago, St. Augustine wrote the following. Let us joyfully celebrate the coming of our salvation and redemption. Let us celebrate the hallowed day on which the great eternal day came from the great eternal day into this our so short and temporal day. He has become our justice and our sanctification and our redemption. And so, as scripture says, let him who glories, glory in the Lord. Thanks be to God. hear the story of the journey to Bethlehem, the song of the angels, the surprise of the shepherds, and their joy as they found Jesus in the manger. Because he was born to poverty, we remember at this season all who are hungry or cold. Because he became a refugee, we remember the stranger and the homeless among us. And because he felt the pain of life and death. We remember those who are ill or anxious or bereaved. And because we know he came for our salvation, let us in heart and mind go once again to Bethlehem to hear again the message of the angels and worship afresh the Son of God.
Now may the fragrance of his peace soar through your heart like a dove released. Hide in his wings, O oh weary distant soul, he'll guide your spirit home. Steps walk in heaven's endless light. Be on this Christmas night. hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me off the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust, all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman. <coughs> And between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
toward heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants. As the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. Many, many years ago, as the Bible tells me so, the sky was blazing, shepherds gazing in the dead of night. An angel said, don't be afraid, I bring good news to all. A saviour has been born and he is Christ the Lord of all. Jesus was born in a stable in Bethlehem. He made no royal entrance or attempts at heavenly fame. He humbly came so that one day he would become the saviour of the world. This is what Christmas means. Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Under the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
Christ will bring us for sure. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow from his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His light is the fear of the Lord. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meat of the earth. The wolf shall also dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them together. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, the nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in my holy mountain, for the earth shall be of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice highly, favoured one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. <laughs>
also went up to Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. While the world beams brightly with coloured lights, and snowflakes glisten among the winter storm, a sign of hope and a sign of life, Christmas is here once more. We gaze out our windows on this cold night to an earth enveloped in a coat of snow. Although this season is warm and bright, so many are alone. So ask yourself. Jesus do. He'd share his love wherever you are, and you should too. As the choir rejoices on Christmas Eve, a child lies restless just waiting to receive friends and loved ones across the globe. Christmas is here. said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you find him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God. was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, 
but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he came the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of the man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Father God, we thank you for the miracle of Christmas. We thank you for your love made incarnate. When we think of Jesus, come as a baby in a manger to save his people from their sins, we can only worship you in the deep and wonderful mystery of it all. In adoration, we bring you our own love gift, ourselves. Accept us, Father, in the light of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And may the joy of the angels and the wonder of the shepherds and the peace of the Christ child fill your hearts this Christmas time. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love now and always. Amen. <laughs>
Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Every single people involved from the year eight choir right through to the senior prefix and the head girl doing our reading this afternoon. Quite simply, the best piece of people, school, music making, making I've ever heard, and that's in quite a long time. And thank you so much, and thank you all for coming and safe home.